Just uh, making some pens here and all. What? Nice, boys. Just fucking giving it. My uh, my line's not cutting for some reason. Oh yeah, she's good. She's real good. Little pointer. It wasn't cutting before, but it seems to be working now. Where the hell that was about? Got the old blinking light system going to town there. Anyways, guys, look. Oh. We're in the old white here. My eyes are full of fucking barley beards. Because I plugged the pickup a little while ago. So that kind of really sucked. But anyways, just gonna go get find our uh, Find her mark here again and give her the snot. Where's that mail? Nice. This is all conventional straw. That rotary stuff. It's uh, too windy right now to bail. I can't make a bail very good. So I figured, you know what? Let's just get over here and fucking hammer down. Hammer down. There we go. Five mile an hour. I don't know, not too bad for this shit. That other stuff was down to two. And, uh, yeah, whatever. You know what? If I have to, what I'll... What I think I'll do is I'll just, uh... Put that shit through the... Oh, down to 5% on my phone. I'll just put that stuff through the combine again if I have to, but... We'll see what happens. Either that or I'll make some square bales. Maybe I'll make some square ones. So anyway, uh, right now we're just... You might have to watch out here. Instead of me telling you about it. Because I think my phone's going to die here pretty quick. Not very good lights on this old girl. Yeah, we got this done last night. 
trying to think of the clips I did over here. But anyways, I came out and I wrapped a few bales up. Did all this. I did everything that uh, the conventional old Dom, what he dropped. Uh, there's a bit of stuff here that we dropped out of the 1688. I got to get bailed up, but um, it's just too dry for my baler. It doesn't like it. So, and I don't like doing it. <laughs> it's not fun at all. So, anyways, I gave up on that last night. Like I said, I went and made, I don't know, maybe 35 bales. Something like that. Maybe 40 of, uh, out of the conventional. So, that's good enough. Today, I'm going to head to the back quarter. Hope you can see the lake. Mint. So, I'm going to head to the back quarter. I'm going to open it up. We got a shot of rain here yet again this morning. So, I'm going to go through over here. I got a 50 foot gate that I uh, drive through with the swather, headers, drill, everything. Because I can't get down that stupid back road there. It's too narrow. So, I'm going to go through there and I'm going to open it up from here and then come over and we'll end up down at that other end. Yeah, I got a coffee, you damn right, old son. So, that is the plan, I guess. I will bring you back when I get cut in here. Look at them little fuckers. Get off the road, you little bastards. You see them through this dirty window. <laughs> get off the road. Come on, got a calm mind to do here. There you go, follow your mom. There. You can't even see them. I don't know if you guys seen them little prairie chickens or not, but there they were. Holy, we started out in third gear. Woohoo, nice, feel like Carl. Man, I hate that when you get wild oat in your shoes. It's a good swath. That's a doozy. Anyway, combine is, uh, well, whatever, over there on the hill. We parked it over there. The reason why we didn't start cutting earlier today, we had rain this morning again. And if you can tell by look at the clouds, kind of shit. But hopefully it's gonna go north, I don't know. Lots of guys are trying to uh, get harvest done and whatnot here. One guy was in there, actually there's two or three guys were going in. I took the test to town, they were going on wheat, but that was closer to town, so. Anyways, I guess, just putting on the miles today. Holy son of a gun. But yeah, I don't know, I hope this field runs as good. Look how short it is. It's just short. That's why it's a bastard to bail behind that case. Usually barley, I don't know, I know Nick was telling me, he said his was up to his waist just about. Well, this stuff ain't that high. I would say if you stretched out the beards to the top, I'd say probably about a foot. Where's right, Con? There he is in the semi. Way over there fucking guy. Anyways, like I said, that's how short it is. She's a bugger to cut. See that? But lots of beards. There's a lot of, a lot of barley in there. So that's kind of good. So hopefully the other, I figured out the other one to yield about 85, 86. Uh, maybe a little bit better with, uh, the weight of it as it was about 53 pounds this stuff was lighter uh took this in like i said when i took the test here today and it was testing uh just dry like 14.4 14.3 something like that and we're about 51 pounds 51 52 pounds so it's still over the 48 but you know you know how she goes you see when you get into these really low spots here where the straw is really, really short. You gotta shape your ground. And what happens is you cut some of the heads off. But it's really not too, too bad, so. Anyway, I better get going here. Gotta make a sprint for it. Try to get this swath picked up here before, uh, before it rains. I hope it don't, but 
not many guys can say that this year but you never want rain at harvest time so all right that's three minutes of bullshitting killing some time good enough talk to you in a bit especially like this if this gets rained on where it's driven over she'll be sprouted well we're pushing on guys we're pushing on carter's right there lightning like a bastard out that way uh they said hail in the cinnaboya i don't know if i said that already probably um hail in regina the old fun town got some ball size hail <laughs> anyway she's uh i don't know if it's raining north or it's just uh a light show i don't really know but it's hard to see through the dust the wind is really really blowing hard here tonight so which is good for us it's making it dry and i don't know hopefully it'll stay north i guess i don't know we'll see what happens i can't even show you in the hopper right now because i'm just about full so i'm gonna have to dump on this strip and once i get this done and i will bring you back nice look at that wind just blowing the odd bit of chafe away we're gonna farmer load this motherfucker night especially because I'm not too worried about this one I can tarp it uh, the other truck here well whatever I could park them in the shop if I have to they don't have tarps but we're only <coughs> we're only a mile away from the house here so this should be pretty mint I hope we don't get none of this but I guess we'll see what happens I'll talk to you in a little bit okay boys don't mind the mess anyway what the hell you know today well what I'm fixing now, I gotta clean this one time here. So, okay, I'm gonna show you here first, real quick. And then I can end this video here, but I wanna, I wanna show you these clutches here. So, first thing you do, if you're having trouble with your sprag clutches ratcheting, the first thing you do is kick the guy square in the dink that greased that. Because you never grease those. Second thing, if you're still having trouble, you can throw the odd washer on to space the spring out so it tightens tighter. Uh, but that's kind of bullshit. I don't do that. So here's what I do. Take your tape measure. Here's your bushing that goes in there. Mark about half to five-eighths of an inch off each bushing. And cut the son of a bitch off. I'll show you in a second here. Okay, there we go. Took a half inch off. Yee! She's hot in there. That little bastard. <laughs> there he is. Half inch. Cut a half inch off that spacer. Mint. Never plug that fucking return again. Now, if you're not very good at setting a combine, what may happen is you may burn that belt off if your uh, your uh, sensors don't go off. I gotta get my gloves on. My fucking gloves. There we go. Okay, we're good. So here and here. Now I'm gonna put this in here. This like so. Then the spring. There we go. Perfect, right flush with the spring. So when you go to put it back in, now when you go to tighten this bolt in there, you see how much slack is in there? I don't like that, that's bush. Not even good. So I'll get this one in and I'll show you what it looks like when it's done here. Alrighty, so if you can see the difference, there's the bottom one without them stupid washers. And right now, the clutches need to uh, basically engage. So by the time you're said and done, that should be just about perfect. Now, keep in mind, when you take that bit out, your bolt's going to get longer. So add four washers and then put your nuts on. Nuts! Put on your Ron Chambers, is, And uh, you should be good. Just mint. Okay, so I got two more to do. And uh, we should be golden here. Talk to you in a bit. All right, I forgot to show you while I was up there. That's what she looks like now. 
So, just remember, uh, when you cut those down, make sure you got your combine set good because if you're returning too much, there's, there's not much give anymore and you may burn this belt. So, just pay attention, but your, your monitor should go off telling you when, uh, when it's not turning, but, uh, you won't, you won't have the grrr anymore. It will be and fucking smoke that belt. So anyways, uh, I guess that's it for this vid, yeah? I have to get a new sprocket for up there yet. Uh, I didn't think it was shot, but I guess it is, so. Yeah, anyway, this combine's ready to go. We got three machines ready to rock now, so that's pretty sweet. But uh, yeah, anyways, thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe, hit that like button, tell your buddies, and uh, I guess we'll see you in the next one. Talk to you later. Mint. There it is, guys, the Dominator. Full straight pipes dominator. You sure you trust me in this old cut? <laughs> You're blowing all the bugs out of it. <laughs> Alrighty, later boys and girls. We called in the recruits, boys. Old Beaner. Take an old Dom out for a spin. Nice. Talk to you in a few. Boys, old Dom is down again. We had a malfunction in the junction and uh, the old pickup come back and hit the fucking auger and oh yeah, she's good. <laughs> so we gotta find an auger someday. Or a whole header, eh? One of the two. Maybe we can just get this piece to hook up the auger and then we'll put our pickup on there maybe. We'll see. Who knows? Is this good? That's good enough. She's a statue now. <laughs> I'm sorry. Shut up. Oh, well, we'll get her figured out. If I got to get that dent out of there, the fucking auger would still turn, I'm thinking, but we don't even use this part of the auger. Might have to uh, cut, cut that shit out of there so it bends back. And then weld a, just a chunk of tin back in there even. I don't know. Maybe. That's a rain day fix. Or get, uh, if we can get inside the tube, expand Push it Push it back out, yeah. It's not Princess out. Auto has one of those things. Do they? Actually, yeah. Because they got one when I used to do auger repairs. If they punched a fucking dent in a, a grain auger. Oh, yeah. And you put it a hydraulic thing. Okay. Have to give her a try. Anyway, good enough. What the hell we got here, boys? <laughs> nice! That spells nice! Alright, I'll bring you back in a minute. We had to change a, a oil line on the old girl. I just want to check and see if she's leaking. 